Nancy Native here, and I'm playing Portal Knights. Now the 1.6.0 update has been released. That means elves, rogues, and rifts. Now, this downloadable content, right now there's a sale going on. They're just asking for $8.99. The regular price is $9.99. And I honestly think that is a reasonable price due to the fact that Portal Knights has been giving us a ton of stuff free. They did offer this free for PlayStation Plus members to play. They give us free gifts every weekend to check in our mailbox. I think that's pretty cool. I plan on buying the new downloadable content. I don't have it as of right now. When I do get it, I will showcase the videos and everything like that. But let's go ahead and get into the game and check some of the stuff that has changed with this update. Now, before we check out all of that, I want to go in creative mode. Now, me and Native Janet, we were playing in creative mode. We're building a town, and we're going to showcase that later on. I'm going to go ahead and go into my workshop. Now, here's the thing that I kind of saw, which I thought was really cool. In host settings, you can now make your matches private, meaning you can only invite people on your friends list that you wish to come into your world. Now before, anytime you went into public mode, it was public automatic, so you had people jumping in who, let's say they were part of the Portal Knight community, they, they jumped in anytime they liked, if they saw someone playing and everything like that, and now it is private. You can go online in private mode and only give invites to those you want to come into your world. Plus, you can also toggle the fact that, well, this is in creative mode, okay? This is in creative mode. We need to go into the other world to see if this actually applies to that. But right here, you can go over here and determine if your friends can build or mine the player chess. That thing, I'm still trying to understand that, that part of it. But if you look at non-friends, you can also toggle if they can mind or mess with the player's chest. Now, since I mentioned this is like in creative mode, let's see my world. My world should be the same thing because this is host settings that I'm messing with. Okay, we'll test that out in a minute. Let's go ahead and go to the workshop. Now, I pre-laid this island down already and I noticed they had test play when me and native Janet was was playing they have test play so you can actually see what your building looks like at night when you go into test play you can use the bed and it will transfer into the night and you can see if you have enough lighting for your place now the exciting thing about this is they gave us dungeon stuff now you might be wondering what dungeon stuff what, what do you mean it means are you ready it means are you ready are you, are you sure you're ready it means that we can make dungeons for our friends to play in that's right dungeons oh my goodness you know what my brothers are in for it they are because I'm gonna make a dungeon but first we have to figure out how do we activate this stuff in dungeon and that's what I would like to showcase at this um, very moment but first let me let me show you what I was talking about doing test play I'm just gonna get a bed set it out now as you know you you can sleep but look it doesn't do anything the night does not disappear at all right but if you hit the option button, you can go into Test Play Island. You click on that, you're going to be warmed out of here. Of course, there is the tunnel, which isn't bad. It didn't look like me and Native Janet had any trouble transferring through this process. Usually you kind of lose friends. Sometimes it, it doesn't work for some of them. But see, now... Now this is all activated, and all the stuff you have in adventure mode kind of follows you. So your pockets are no longer empty. You can go to sleep. 
you could toggle. Now you might be wondering, well, can I leave it at night? And then, I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Hang on. I think in creative mode, it is always daytime. Now, if you're building, that's a great thing because when it gets night, you kind of like, okay, wait a minute, I can't really see what I'm doing. Especially for those who don't really mess with their settings on their televisions. No, it's always day. But, isn't that great that they did that for us? Because now, we can actually see what our place looks like at night. Alright, let me go ahead and get rid of this bed. Now, yes, yes. Dungeon. We can make dungeons now. I'm thinking about all kinds of stuff. We can also lay monsters down that for our dungeons. I mean, come on. All right, hang on. Let's go ahead and clear the bar. Now, right over here, they gave us the monsters. Look at this. We can set these monsters out and finally take a good look at what they look like. Now, they won't attack you because it is in creative mode. But when you do test play, yes, they will. Look at all of this. What's new? Fire crystals, anacondas, ice crystals. Now, this is for the downloadable content, the, the imps. Now, we cannot set these down, but we can take a look at them. Going to first player, first person mode, and this. I don't know who you are, but I can't wait to meet you. Look at that. And it kind of, it shows that you have this, like a partridge in your hand, and it's sealed. Look at this dude. You're my height. Man, you look cool. What are you? Hollow Imp Caster, how do you do? Nice to meet you. That is so cool. And we have everybody. Look at this. Can you imagine making a dungeon with all these guys? What? A blue snapper? Whoa! Dude! You look... beautiful and vicious at the same time! Look at those teeth! They changed... how the dragon looks? Okay, let's see. And they also gave us different color slime. Alright. Well, the, these guys kind of say, stay the same. They're not really different too much. At least I don't think. The Fallen stayed the same. this one. Yeah, I think that's the same too. But they did change how they looked. What? Merman? Merman? What the? Dude. Look at you. You know what? Just twirl for me. That is so cool. What? This is that a looks like a stick. Why is that like that? Huh. This is also sealed too that they put in my hand, but it's kind of like it's white. That is so cool, dude. I'm so hyped up about that. Now does that mean that creature is actually in my 
Adventure mode? Diamond parrot? Snowflake parrot? Diamond. I don't really see a diamond, but look at those eyes piercing into your soul. Okay, that's the same. That's the same. Okay, so that's it. That's that's the stuff that they offer us. Now, I will take a look at the spiders. I kind of saved that for last for those who might be scared of spiders. I do apologize. I mean, I know it's virtual, but still, you just kind of look at the legs and go, Bleh. Man, you look vicious. And look how big you are. Woo! This thing will be crawling out. <laughs> ah! That is so cool. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay. Now, as for the tools, they look like they did kind of change up the bombs. We have kind of like a red flare now. I think that was the added doesn't look like anything else there now they do have different merchants this one right here let's go ahead and take a look at these guys these are the ones I don't have access to oh that's right oops can't set you down I forgot about that mm. it would have been nice if we saw like a little picture Okay, let's take a look at what they might have gave us in the plants. Oh, we have some nice hedges. Look at this. Now, me and Janet were looking at this. I noticed this and I, I kind of pulled them out. Look at this. That That's a pretty good size. Even that is a pretty good size for my height anyway. Now, here's the thing about making a dungeon. You know, I know my brothers. You know, you make a dungeon. If there's a way they can break the dungeon walls down, they will. But the fact that we can make sure that they can't mind anything prevents them from breaking those walls down. If I were to make a maze or maybe a dungeon to where it's kind of tricky for them to get through that. Hang on, let me save the video. Let's take a look at the traps. Now, whoops, I know there's more stuff right here. You know, they do have a flag. They have some different flags and everything like that. They do have other items that you can put down, which I think is really cool. These wanted posters. Lewis. Blind. Bagard? Bag. Mm. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm back. Alright. Okay, I'm back. Alright. It looks like that is the only thing that they kind of offer us in the plant department. I know they added some different seeds and stuff like that. Now, in the flag area, we do have a rogue guild banner. This is a mage banner that they added. We have a banner of Fairmore. Fair. Fairnor? 
that one. They did give us some items that we can put out, which I think is really cool. They gave us some new signs. And I guess new signs mean new shops. Now, these wanted posters are from the downloadable content. They did kind of give us a new portrait. Now, the animal sensors are still the same. The decorations are still the same. The mannequins are still the same. Now, I noticed this, the wagon. They gave us that and these exploding containers. Now, they may be the same thing that we got before, but it's different now because the textures and everything have changed. Now, in bathrooms, they did add a very nice mirror and a beautiful bathroom, like bathtub here, which is really cool looking. And then the sink, and then the throne, which is the toilet. Now this stuff right here, you can't look at, but we could pull out and take a look at it. Of course, it's just the dinner plate. That's a candle. Let's look at this. Let's check out the chair table, the archway, big bowl, oh, man, this, that, that's making me hungry, all right, look at that cake, oh, man, to be able to have desserts, I hope they put in foods, now, I can't put it down because I'm missing the license, look at that, let's look at this cake again, that's a cool looking cake. Now, why the wedding stuff? I don't know. Look at the archway. That's cool. And then the bow, I guess you have to hang up. Oh, I don't have anything to... Oh, that's cool. Little petals on the, on the floor. Hang on, I want to check that archway out. I mean, the uh, bow. Let's, um... Grab this. Right there. That's cool. I like that. Okay, let's clear out our inventory. We do have some new statues. Small iron window. Look at this. That's a window. The rogue looks nice. That's cool. I like that. Some of these are still the same. Now this stuff here. Look at that. Beautiful throne. Now Native Janet was showing me this. She could put it down in my world, but I, I couldn't. Look at that window. Now these windows are open. They're, they don't have any glass in them. And <laughs> what I did was I, I built a bathroom and I filled it up with water with me and Native Janet in it. And we noticed that the water was escaping through the windows. And I thought, oh, they don't have any glass? Look at that door. It's a huge door. Woo! Now these are kind of like an elf style. I mean, think about it for those who like, you know, different type of movies. You have 
I don't know, Harry Potter, you have um, Lord of the Rings. Those are, they was, would be really interesting builds to try to make in this game. And with those windows, it could probably actually happen. Because those are nice looking. Not much has changed except the large bookcase, the decorative items. This one right here. Now, as for the workshop stuff, this right here, it looks like a desk. Hang on. With ninja stars, potions, daggers, scrolls. This is their workshop that they get to work in. Can't put it down, missing the license, but that's the max right there. Looks so cool. Okay, hang on, let me... Me and Janet noticed that they gave us the pirate chest. I ran across some of that in adventure mode. The mason table. I haven't seen that. Now, I have seen this one, though. The carpenter's table. These are things that I, I think they're decorative. I don't think you can interact with them. No, it doesn't look like you can. But I did run across some of these before in adventure mode. And it has changed. It has changed. Let's keep going. Okay. I think that is it. Yes. Now, the textures in the blocks, you know, we, we don't have access to that one. Looks kind of cool. They have changed the textures. small stone brick block has changed they kind of introduced this one the large white stone brick block that's new now this right here is the dungeon set They did give us new roofs. We have a green roof tile, a blue one, and a dark. That's sort of the same. This is sort of the same. That's, that's the same. No new fabric, no new carpet, which honestly, I was kind of hoping maybe we get a different color. same portal stones are the same and I think that's it so you know I can't set this down but it looks like this looks like they put a little bit more detail in this one block all right hang on let's clear this stuff out of the way now, I know this is silly but there we go. Much better. <sighs> much, much better. Okay. Now let's take a look at the new item right here. The connected tool. Now you, knew, you need this. This is actual tool that you need when you're, you're messing with all this stuff. Now you do have your pressure plates. You do have your levers. And you do have your buttons. Let's go ahead and set this down. So these are the buttons. And of course we all seen this.
when the switch is on, that means the trap's clean. Now, it seems like you can only activate that once. Now, here's the thing about this connecting tool. You need it to connect the switches to do whatever you need to do. You put it in your hand, you walk up to the switch, and then you hit R2, and then you can connect it. Now, once you connect it, you have this really cool looking wire that is now connected to the connecting tool. And you can connect it to other things, like maybe the switch. You can connect it to that. Oh, wait a minute. They're like, no, you can't. Okay, well, I thought you could. Hold on. Oh, this one. Sorry. You can connect it to this. Now, as you can see, it shows when you're looking at it, and it only sh pops up when you're looking at it, is that you have a nice green wire going to the switch. Now, what does that do? Well, step on this, you bring that back up. Press that back down. If you wanted to bring it back up, you go like that. Or, let's say you don't like that connection, you just hit this. Hang on, I'm sorry. This, disconnect. And let's say you want to do it by switch. So we're gonna connect that to there and apply it to this button. So you press this to go down. You wanna bring this back up. Hang on, let me take the connecting tool off. Now, in order for us to get that switch to come back on, we pull it down and then it pops back up. Now these switch can be put on, now I'm not sure about this one, I think this one only can be put on the floor, but these can be put up on walls, this one right here, the lever switch and the button switch can be put up on walls. Now I'm curious about this one, hang on, let me, let me get something, now that's a snow block, yeah I like it because it's really nice and bright, but let's go ahead and just get this, find out if we can, whoops, hmm, hang on, I wonder how wide, now I could be wrong, let's see, you know what, these are only going on the ground, what, are you crazy? We can't have switches only going to the ground? Well, I guess it would make sense. I mean... I... Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. I was kind of like, what the... Switches can go on the wall? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First time me doing this. Okay, so even though it looks like it, it can't... You can yeah, now it makes me think you could do the blue one then. Oh, I'm getting a red. Maybe not enough room? Let's bring it up. I'm getting red. So, these can only be put on the floor. Okay. Nice. Now, I wonder, though, can you connect this? Hang on, let me disconnect this connection. Alright, let's say the switch. Can you go through a wall? Oh, you can. How much through a wall? Like, all the way? see yes okay so you can have the switches behind a wall all right hang on let me whoops did not mean to do that hang on all right let's say let's ah oh. I have to use the rod with R2. Okay, so let's say this. 
we want this to connect to this item over here and it does okay so you know like in in minecraft they have the um the red stuff that you need to connect certain switches to certain switches here you don't need that they can actually connect through material how far i want to see how far hang on press that button okay it works Let's see how far this can connect. All right, I got to disconnect from the other one. There we go. Like, how far can I go with this? Ooh, that's a distance. No way. Really? Wow. Let's see. Okay, the switch is down. Oh, I can't. All right. I'm impressed. That's a distance. That that's pretty far. So you can basically have kind of like a control room for your dungeons. And it, I'm not sure if it does multiple. I mean, let's see. It's just showing one? No. We have multiple. One. Two. So we can put down two items for switch. How many, really? A number? Okay, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, and that's connected. Okay, so we can have multiple switches for just one switch. And they could be a good distance away from the device. I'm gonna go further this way. Okay, that is connected. That's cool. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... You, you can't speed run when you're in this mode. All right, so let's push them all down. All right. Let's go throw the switch. And they're all up. That is so cool. Man, my mind is kind of like thinking about different stuff. Now, you can also use these switches for the lights and the doors. It looks like they have to be in this one category for you to use. Now, I don't know about this. I mean, they have the light sources here. Can we connect it to this? Yes, we can. It is on. And it's off. Look at that. And it shows you, it kind of shows you when you... you 
put your sight on it, when you look away, you put the little sight on it, it shows you the connection that are coming from this one switch. And the way it's colored, that looks really cool. And the fact that you can connect it to your light. So you can have a room with nothing but, you know, a light switch to turn it all on. That is awesome. I think it's awesome. I think it's really, it's a game changer for me. Anyway, okay, let's see. Now, I think you can you can attach all the lightings that are, are here, except for this one. The fireplace. I was playing around with this one earlier. I didn't see it connect. No, it's not working. I'm hitting the R2 to try to trigger it and nothing. Maybe they just put that there because it was part of lighting. So I'm going to assume, I don't think torches, hang on, let's try torches. Oh, I'm getting a red. These torches are only for the floor? They're only for the floor and they lay down? Wow. Oh, the mounted torches. Oh. There's the difference. So now we have two variety of torches in the game. Alright. Okay, yes, you can connect it to this. Can you connect it to that one down at the bottom? No, you can't. It's not working. Okay, so now that's connected. We can turn that on and off. Okay, so does that mean we have to make this? Hmm. You know what? That's an adventure mode. I'm in creative mode, so I'm not going to worry about it yet. I think it's... See, now I'm just like really curious. Even this? Even that? Let's find out. I think that's far enough off the ground. Yes, you can apply to this and this. That's so cool. Nice. All right. Okay. Now, they do have different lighting. They have this. Let's grab a blue one. Now, I also noticed that in Adventure Mode, when I was watching Native Janet's stream on Portal Nights, there was a way she could turn light on and off. Okay, there. Goes on, off. Does it look like it works? The on and off works for these items here? Only for this. Can... Hang on, let me go ahead and pull this down to turn these on. Okay, you can go ahead and, and apply the switch to this. Now I'm noticing something. It says ID. Every time... Can you do it to this one? Okay, it says ID 20... Why does that say 24? It's not 24 items, is it? Or is it the listing, like the listing for this? Hmm. Let me grab this. Item 25. So maybe it's going up. Okay, so the ID number right here, it says ID 23. I guess that's basically telling you 
how many items are maybe connected to this? That's cool. Alright. Now, let's take a look at the doors. Since we have one switch, we might as well just use that. I can't use those. Let's try this one. Okay. That's cool. This one is called the Ghost Barrier. Now, Ghost Barrier, Ghost Barrier, hmm. So just laid out these doors. See if we can... Okay, yes you can. Oh, and it disappeared. Okay, we do have another connection, maybe to close it. Okay, so right now they're open. Then we close it. The ghost bear seems to pop up. Now, it shows that I can connect another device to it. Right here. So you can connect two devices to this instead of just one. I'm talking about you could put it like another leather uh, lever to this. Let's see. No. Hmm. Maybe. Hang on, I need to. I'm thinking maybe if you open the door. No, you can't. One or the other. Maybe it has to be a different one. Hang on. What if we did a, a switch? On. I want to try to see what this other connection could be. Hmm. Green. Then a lighter green. Not quite understanding what that does. to see. No. So what does that... Okay, not that one. Maybe this. Oh, hang on. What if I'm not... Hmm. Get connected. So I'm connected to this. No, it's not working. There is a way. There's something that attaches to this. Like, you can pick one or the other. Now, what does that mean? I think... It's something. I, I don't know. It's something I don't... Wait a minute. I want to figure it out. Now this is the logic. It says OR GATE. NOT GATE. XOR GATE. NOR GATE. AND GATE. N A N D GATE. DELAY. CLOCK. OR TIMER. Now what I'm thinking is it connects to one of these.
supply connection. Oh, you can adjust the timer right here. You know what? I should save the video. So you can adjust the timer right here on the very top by hitting the arrow key to left or right. Increases the timer. Going to the left decreases the timer. So right increases, left decreases. Okay. So let's say 60 seconds. We apply current pressure plate. What about the store? No. Wait a minute. I don't want it on this. Don't want this on this. Hang on. Let me um pick you off. I want it on the door. Can I put it on the door? Okay. Get connected. Oh, wait. Go down. Get connected to the door. No. Mm -mm. But there is a clock timer that you can use. Hang on, wait. That one said, this one right here says, or gate. Did anyone say door? Now, I'm assuming gate basically means... No, this one says or gate. No, that's a clock one. Hang on. Let me, um, no. Okay. And then, no, that is not good. That's not working. But these two connected one to one another. So this is a clock timer connected to a gate. connect that fly connection to the clock so something needs to set this off now since I put a timer on that it it has it in kind of like a pink the door connected to the switch is in blue so basically, I put a gate, I guess this would be a circuit, maybe, a gate circuit, which is defined by, looks like a, a, an arrow, to a timer. So this door right here is timed. There's a certain time before it closes. So what if I went back to the switch? Okay, so now that's the lever. Ooh, goodness, it's getting sketchy. Oh, the timer's going off. Okay, so with this connected to the lever to activate the timer and the gate, it applies to this. And I put 60 seconds down, so eventually this door will close. But you can hear that timer going off. So let's say you make a dungeon to where it's a timer and they activate it. They have so many seconds to get outside the door, maybe. That. 60 seconds is kind of long for this door to close. While that's doing that, let's, um, let's see. This is open, so close, it'll, it'll be shut. Oh, it stopped. What's going down? Oh. Okay, so it was already open due to the switch. But if you did put a timer on the door and everything like that and they activate it, the clock would go down. This is attached to there, so it's telling you this is a gate. A timer for a gate. And then this would qualify as a gate that.